let me just try to summarize. I mean, most of your points actually fall largely within this idea of for teacher A, there are two perspectives that we want to look at it from. So, one perspective is that the teacher's perspective itself, okay, wherein what we want to say is that the teachers can adapt the lecture dynamically to the student's response. So, that what we are saying as immediate clarification all of those things are possible. And then from the student's perspective again the advantage seems to be that the student can ask questions to the teacher, the student can see the teacher in the classroom all of those seem to be the advantages of the teacher A model. However, the key drawback here is that the student does not have access to the teacher while working on the problems at home. Okay. So, here there is an important point to keep in mind that is we become experts only when we do things right, we do not become experts by hearing things. So, in order to develop expertise or mastery in a subject it is necessary for the students to practice and it is necessary for the students to actually do something with the material that the teacher is saying. So, and that activity happens in the at home and at this point the student does not have access to the teacher. So, also the teacher does not know what difficulties the students face while doing the problem solving. Okay, on the other hand now let us look at teacher B. So, from the teacher B's perspective you are having the video at home and exercises are being done in class. Now, what happens is from the teacher's perspective the teacher can address students problem solving difficulties in the class itself. Okay. So, it is not difficulties with respect to understanding of the topic, it is not at the recall or the understand level, but it is at the apply and the higher levels difficulties that arise at that level can be addressed by teacher B in the class. Okay. The advantage for the students again is that the students can watch the lecture video at their own pace. So, if they want to repeat if they did not understand something they can go back and get that or and the second thing is when they are in class they can get immediate help from peers and the teacher during the problem solving process. So, this is the advantage from the students perspective. Also this there are some points which are common in both the cases for example, there is a point which one of the centers is saying that there is eye to eye contact between the student and the teacher that is important and what you can see is that it is possible in both the modes, it is possible for teacher A also to have this eye to eye contact as well as for teacher B to have the eye to eye contact. So, essentially what is happening is that the total amount of time of the study is remaining the same and the difference is in what students do in class versus what students do at home. 